Hello and welcome to the Magic Sponge Spodcast. 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 <laughs> I think we should change it. Spodcast is quite good, <laughs> isn't it? The Magic Sponge Podcast. Um, I'm Rob Beckett with uh, Jimmy Billard and Ian Smith. We're here every week. Our guest this week is sports agent and showbiz agent Eric Hall. Yes. Monster, monster, good to be here, but excited, isn't it? Monster, <laughs> I'm so happy you said that. I was worried you weren't going to say it, but you still. Well, monster. you ain't as happy as me because I've wanted Eric on the show for ages. Quite yeah, you're the and first... this man has got some serious stories. So I'm yeah, so we, happy we, when we first put a list together of people who wanted the show, you were top, top up, the, up the top of the list. On so the thank you for doing on it. On the B list. No, the A list. <laughs> on the B list. The top list. Um, thanks for coming on. Also, before we start, Monster, Monster is your is catch your catchphrase. Yeah. Monster Monster or like well, they're not a catchphrase. I just sort of say normally it's not a catchphrase, kiddo. You know, yeah. It's just something I picked up. I don't know how I got it really. I was plugging a band many years ago called Pilot. Yeah. January sick and tired. You're around this table too young to remember that song. <laughs> <laughs> it was number one, by the way. Um, <laughs> and I was going to see a show, a producer called Mike Mansfield. Yeah. At London Weekend Television. I had it arranged that pilot, I got him on top of the pops that week, yeah. on the Wednesday go down the Thursday in those days, a show called uh, Supersonic, which was Michael's show, the Russell Harvey show, I had about five shows, so I needed the Mike Mouthful show, which was this Supersonic show. Yeah. And I went to see him to try and get him on for that week, I thought it would be a great week of plug-in, promotion, PR, as I say it today. And he didn't want to use them, I said, well, Mike, Bubbler, you've got to use them, they're, they're great, they're going to be monster monster. Hey, what do you mean? Like, I said, oh, no, no, I I just said it. <laughs> Once he picked it up from somewhere, so it's over. I just said it automatically. Yeah. Where I got it from, I don't know. I mean, I meant it the nice way. Yeah. Oh, a monster, monster can be a real schmuck, a real, you know, oh, it's monster, monster, or bad or good. And I thought the first time I've said it, I've said it a million, two million times since. Yeah, yeah. But that's when I first said it. Why I said it and where I really got it from. Ah, and so it was like a blag that's got carried away. Is that yeah, it? I think yeah. you say, is it not like, just say, just say you got a great deal, monster, monster deal now. Is that where it, long and sort of like, when you got something big? It could be a monster, 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 bad deal, you know. Right, okay. Yeah, 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 use it for big, anything. Yeah, it, it, big, it, yeah. it could be, you know, either way, in a way. It's just part of it. be like Julian yeah. Clary. <laughs> but um, it can it can go either way. Either way, fair enough. Well, that's sort. And bubbler isn't that is that sort of a you just word, a for word. It's a term of endearment. Yeah, yeah. Bubbler, oh, mate, kid. How are you, know, you bubbler? Do you know when you, I mate? first heard you say that? I talked about I was with you. Do you know what I thought you were saying? I thought you was calling everyone footballer. <laughs> I know, that's what I, that's what a donut I am. I thought he's saying, why is he calling him a footballer? He's not a footballer, he's a comedian. And it was bubbler. You know what we call him, Beth looking a schmuck. <laughs> but honestly, that's what I thought we were saying. Yeah. yeah, that was just me. And I went out to mum. I said, what is it? He going to bubble and now it's a sign of endearment. So yeah. you're learning every day. You're always learning, isn't it? And um, who, so you, um, who's your, you, 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 you know, you start to look after Dennis Wise, wasn't it? Was one of your football one of my One of my, yeah. Was yeah. your yeah, first. Neil Ruddock as well, was that? Neil Ruddock, Razor, yeah. Fashion who? Fashion who, yes. Yeah. Dennis, Dennis um, everybody. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I think nearly every player in those days... I've represented in one way or another. Maybe not every single player. Well, nearly all the main ones, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were Gary Lineker. <laughs> when Gary, Gary came with his agent, John Holmes, to me. Yeah. Because they was going to do a boot deal and he didn't know what to do. I got Gary Lineker his first boot deal. So oh, did you? I might not represent him. Did you get him the Walker's Chris? No, no. No, that's that was, the deal you want to get in. He's still coining yeah, it in yeah, now. Yeah, and it's yeah, a few Chris. years later. But what I'm saying in those days, Gather and all those people, yeah. I did, if I didn't actually represent them 100%, I, I, did, I did probably get some pieces from yeah. there. Who was the closest player you used? Who was the closest one? Did you father any of them? Who was the closest player? Who's did you father any of them? Father of any of them? No, not really. No. <laughs> Does any get really close? Because back in that, I thought why they really Dennis why because very similar kind of people we are. Yeah. You know, maybe not so much now, but um, yeah, why they? But all my players, I never. They would say to me when people say to me. Jimmy, the similar question, well, nothing really like your question, is that, <laughs> you know, what's your best deal you've done? Yeah. I think the last two I did is my best deal. Yeah. You know, every deal, don't matter if you're taking a player from Brentford to Liverpool or from Liverpool to Colchester or Colchester to, to St Albans. A deal's a deal. I love doing deals. Yeah. yeah. I'm a deal maker. One of my, my expressions, which somebody else nicked from me recently, monster, forget who monster. it was. No, apart from my monster. Yes, monster. I'm, I'm loving it. Now, my job, my job, 
was to make the poor players rich and the rich players richer. Yeah. I'm, prou- I'm proud of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty proud of that. Well, that brings us to the first story this week, is that Arsenal and Phil Walcott are in contract negotiations um, about extending his contract. Um, the 25-year-old's contract expires in 2016, um, and he only, he's only he been out for about six months, hasn't he? Getting a new deal, that's all right, isn't it? Really? <laughs> <laughs> he's getting a new deal? He's getting a new deal, apparently. Um, what, how, so how would you start a negotiation for a... With a well, you say, what, well, what, we, what are you going to pay him? You just See, say, I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning my so business skills. So that's what you do. If you was getting agent, so what are you going to pay me? Never put down an offer. I've learned. Never put, put down. down an yeah, offer. what are the five key things an agent should do to try and get more money for his player? Eric, would you suggest blackmail? <laughs> blackmail. Yeah. <laughs> got no some pictures. Of I don't think there are five key things anyway, Bubbler. I just think that you know the thing you got to do. You got to know your value of your player. Yeah. I think you must never ever be like a schmuck and overdo it. If you think he's only worth twenty grand a week. Don't offer 50, you won't get it. Maybe yeah. offer 25 a week. You know, then you might finish up, you know, your, they start there and you start here and then you probably may meet halfway-ish. Ish. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes you get a little bit more than you wanted or maybe a little bit less. Do you have arguments situ- with your players? Like arguing, with the players, no. Yeah, you're, you're eight as a No, I've plenty of arguments with, with managers. But never with the players, yeah, never yeah. had a falling mm-hmm. out. Yeah. My funny story with Ken Bates, in a way, not some argument, is that I was doing, renegotiating a Dennis Wise deal. Yeah, I said and I was chatting. I just don't like here. Yeah, I don't stop talking and talking and talking. And suddenly, Ken's got up and said, "I'm going." I said, well, "Where are you going?" He said, Eric, "I said yes to you 20 minutes ago." <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Can't you? Um, can't you?" He said, "You're the only agent I know who can't take yes for an answer." <laughs> <laughs> that is, I can imagine. You do that, like right? a chat, didn't you? I think we've experienced. You know, no, I like to. I like to get the right deal. I like to feel <laughs> confident. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say who's your most notorious client, but you said Neil Ruddock was your. Uh... Well, not notorious. No, notorious. I suppose the most nutter I've been involved with. Not of a was, of course, which Jimmy would know this too, as a, as a, a crazy man with Paul Gascoigne. Yeah, yeah. yeah I remember the first time I met Paul Gascoigne. I wasn't his agent. He had an agent called Mel Steen, an accountant. But again, when he joined Spurs from Newcastle, or whatever mm. it was, I was I'm, I was and still involved. I was Terry Venables' agent, who was yep. then managing Spurs. And this, I swear to people, don't believe this story; it's a true story. And um, after it all done and dusted, I put my bit in and things and helped Terry with the negotiations for Spurs on behalf of Spurs. And we went up to a restaurant afterwards, to Scalini restaurant in 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 uh, Chelsea, a very show. famous. Not Polish, you're Schmuck Scalini. Italian, Italian. How many, how many Scalini do you know from Poland? <laughs> oh, only if only it's a fellow girl Scalini. Really if lovely, anybody's yeah. listening, been there, will know what I'm talking about. The matra D there, if that's the right word. Yeah. Big bun of those uh, big uh, uh, moustaches. Like, what do I call them? Candle, uh, not candle. Handlebar moustaches. Uh, handlebar, yeah. handlebar, handlebar. Candlebar. Candlebar, thank you. Talk about where you live. And he was, we're all sitting at the restaurant, we're all angry, they had a long day. We're sitting in the restaurant and gathers looking at the restaurant and there's a menu. And he's, he's got no idea. You know, in English he had no idea. But, so this Matra D with a big, big moustache says, It's only Mr. Gather, sir. Because he knew he was, because he may not have been a football fan, yeah. but probably was being Italian. And he'd been all that week in the news. Gather for Tottenham, da 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 da. I'll get it all the time. So he says, um, <laughs> He gets it all the time. He's eating those Polish restaurants. He gets the pie <laughs> <measure. He gets laughs> all over me. He gets the I just the carp and chips. I've told the story, <laughs> Bob. Do you mind? <laughs> so, <laughs> well, you've told eight. Don't. <laughs> I've got to get one in. Don't, really interrupt. Eight, Eric. <laughs> Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt me when I'm interrupting I'm myself. I'm so <laughs> he's trying to help me. He says, uh, Would I like you, Mr. Gather, sir? Could I suggest the lamb? He's a very good lamb. He says, No, no, I am I'm, I'm, no, I'm doing that, please. Oh, okay. Because then I'm me, Terry, and his lady, the friend they're now married, Yvette, we call her Toots, Toots Venables. We're all sitting in the middle already and we've got to eat. So eventually he comes over again, and in my heart, this is true, and he says to Gather, this is uh, Mr. Gather, sir, do you like Scampy? He says, Yes, I like all the Disney movies. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to you. What did he thought he was saying, Bambi? What? Bam- no, he thought, yeah, no, it's Scampi, he thought it was Bambi. Oh. <laughs> Have you got your quiz? Do you want to do the, you've got two, you've got two quizzes. you got the Eric one, so and one do Eric's first and we'll do Jimmy's oh, later, can't okay. we? Okay, so. Go, oh, let me do that again. I told you this show was made for people like Eric. 
<laughs> this is all perfect the stories and so chat. this is um this is a quiz. Do you I, want to know why when Freddie Mercury wrote a song? No, you don't want to know that story then. Oh no, we'll we'll talk about that later. What's this? Freddie Mercury. Does it, He's Freddie Mercury. Kid. Wrote What's your name again? Killer Queen. Ian. 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 You're a monster hot bubbler. Monster hot. You're monster, monster hot. hot. Sounds like a chat line. Can, can you get me a deal? Can you get me a deal? Yeah, do I, more. Right, I, this is me. I've learned my negotiating skills from Go, you so we'll do, far. Do, okay. Can do, I? Do. Can I have a hundred pounds, do, please? We'll do, we'll do. I'm your agent, and yeah. we're doing a deal. We're trying to get you more money. I'm okay. I'm the chairman. You're, you're, you're with Jimmy. Okay. I'm chair. Yeah. I'm chair. I'm chair. Dog. You're trying to get him a new deal. He's got right. two hundred quid a week. Yeah. What, what should I do? I just it's outrageous. I'll, I'll just take notes. You're the manager. You're the you're the manager. I'm the manager. So I want Ian. So he wants to sign him. Yeah. Okay. Right. He's brilliant. Okay. Right. So. Of course you want him. So Jimmy's a chairman. I'm the chairman. Calm down. Okay. Right. I'm the manager. You get very excited. Jimmy's a chairman. Eric's the agent. And you're the Right. Okay. So what team is it? So I've got Ian here. I want Ian to play for. The team for another three years. What team is it though, Rob? What's that? Don't what team? Hammersmith FC. Hammersmith Hammer FC. FC. Right, so, so what, we've got this meeting now. Um, this Eric is chairman. You Eric, yeah. 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 I brought you, brought you the kids' contracts up at uh, uh, the end of the season. I know you wanted to sign. That's why we're here today, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Manager, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Manager. Um, you know what he's on now. We will give you if you uh, well, we offer him three years. I want another five years at his age. I Eight want, years. Well, no, he's on three. Oh. You've offered in three years. Oh, but it's young, five. But I, want, I want a five. I want five. Oh, yeah. You know what he's on now? But what are you prepared to pay him? You know his wages now. What are you prepared to give him? He's on 200 quid a week now. We give him four years instead of five, then. We meet you halfway. How's that? Well, well yeah, but what's, how much? I'm how not suggesting anything. Well, go on, you way. come out of a price. No, 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 you've not come out of a price. You know, you want him. I no, could take yeah, him. Yeah, but I got QPR, and I got Luton, and I got Russian and Diamonds. And, Russian and Diamonds are interesting. You've, you've, obviously not seen him, there, mate. you've obviously not seen him play, then. No, well, they have. It don't right. matter. Okay. I've never seen him play. Um, it don't matter. He may play, you're right. Might be the greatest schmuck. He may play like Douglas Barter. We're, we're double his but, wages. But, so let me finish, Bob. Please, Mr. Manager. I'm chairman. chairman. Or chairman. Don't speak to me like that. offered to double the wages and you're cutting him off. No, no, still ain't enough. Ain't enough. Oh, OK. Don't speak enough. to me like that. I'm the chairman. Ain't, no, ain't enough. It ain't enough. I'll double his wages. Listen, no, no. If he goes through those... First of all, he's on a free... Is he? A, I've just spent. It cost us half a million. No, no, no. He cost him. His contract comes to an end. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Get me on a buzz. He's down a free. We'll he's on a buzz. Four hundred quid a week for the next but, four years. But, but Russian diamonds can take him because they, they don't pay him. But they're prepared because they have to not paying a fee for him. Yeah. I'm gonna give him five grand a week. What? They're not paying for it. He's him. only on two hundred. But that's not exactly why he's gonna I've leave got this a kid club. on the way. If that helps. Is it? Well, he's going to be out for nine months now, then, isn't he? He's no. got a kid on the way. How no. much do you well, want? I'm not how much birth. do you want? <laughs> well, I, I want to. I want to. So then, I might even take your three-year deal. I want to guarantee your three-year deal. Start with three grand, four grand, five grand for your position. In well, obviously, if you're only two hundred, a very small club you are. Without knocking you, Mr. Chairman, <laughs> give me three grand a week, <laughs> and I want uh, either striker. I want. Uh, being this is a let's say conference league a gold bonus get club. me a gold bonus Eric I want you £500 a goal every is time it you keeper shot. what do you think Gaffer do you want him that bad yeah I'm a keeper well, but I push up <laughs> he does push up you've got to um, remember Mr Manager Mr, yeah. Mr. Chairman yeah. if I do take him off the end of his season to losing Schmooten or whatever it may be yeah you've got to replace him now, to replace him in this day and age of his calibre and his talent... What, and scruffy he, he's, Northerner? He's what? <laughs> scruffy Northerner. Scruffy, <laughs> scruffy, schmuffy, well, doesn't matter. Yeah, Rooney's you quite got replace, a lot this. You've got to replace him, and this day and age, in even this division, yeah. it's got you three, four hundred grand minimum. Yeah. Minimum, and yeah. wages. It's quite hard to so negotiate. It's best to, when it's best to keep him I don't know, ballpark. on the same money... <laughs> Give him more and keep the player, it's you know. It's very difficult Come. to do this role play when we don't really understand, know how much Ian's worth. Yeah, um, well, you know I mean? I'm We're absolutely back. brilliant, Look, mate. You're I only ever do over so a we Eric's already got you four, five, six grand a week, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. One of the only I, players... I do want him. He's a good player. Okay. But it's a bit, it's a lot, he's coming out your pocket, Mr. We'll Chairman. And, and Mr. Mr. Chairman, yeah. he's a proven player. That's why you want to keep him. One of the only well, players to score a like penalty it, with an overhead if, kick. If he was good enough, you would let him be there. His contract's over. Thank God for that. Get rid of him. I no. want the player. So you want, if you want to we keep want him, the, player. We the want deal him, will be done, Eric. And it'd be, the cheaper, big it'd be cheaper to keep him than bring another player in. Listen, the deal will be done, but how much do you want? I, uh, that's none of your business. <laughs> I'm the chairman. <laughs> I've got to pay between you. me and my, the player. Okay. Okay. All right. So you've right, got deal. a deal. New deal. Well done. New deal at Hammersmith FC. Thank Just so you know, I'd have given a little bit more than that, but I'm not that high. I'd have given him eight, nine, and ten. No, no, no. So you've done the We budgeted for that. No, no, but being 
maybe you would have, but I, as I was saying earlier, is that I was happy. You know, the kids on two hundred pound a week. He's now got another guaranteed three years money coming in. Yeah. That's three grand for us, plus a gold bonus. Yeah. 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 So and he's going to have Monster Monster on the back of his shirt. And that Monster Monster. Yeah, and I've got a kid coming in, and those gold bonuses all by its clothes. Well. Jim, do you agree with what see, I just said? We can see why he's good. The Monster. It's a good, deal. good deal. Right, well, I'm glad you're happy about that. You've got yeah, a drink no, on it, and he's on three grand a week. I didn't. I remember I was under the impression that we were, hypothetically, mm. we were talking about a non league club. Yeah, true. You know, so about £200 would be about right for a yeah, non league yeah. club. Yeah, so a non league club, he's got to pay him now three grand a week and guarantee yeah. him another three well, grand I'm, I'm pretty excited about the season for Hammersmith FC. Another 10 players have yeah, got yeah. starting lineup. Oh, yeah, in the minute, it's just me by myself. I'm getting <laughs> absolutely mobbed in the field. I thought you'd get three grand a week. Um... Shall, shall I do my quick fire quiz? Oh yeah, you got your quiz. Yeah, quick fire quiz so, for Eric. When a guest comes on, I do I do a quick fire quiz. So these are sort of inspired by your life or your clients. So we'll see how much you know. Um, I just give a quick answer. See if you get it right. So question one: You represented John Fashnu, who released a fitness DVD, Focus on Fitness with John Fashnu. But how much is that DVD currently going for on Amazon? About forty-eight pence. Oh, no, better than you thought. £2.97. It's not bad. With an not average bad. star rating of two and a half. That's all right. So, not bad. Um, Solid. Neil Ruddock. I fell out with John Fashion because... <laughs> 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 I had a call one day Quick in my fire. West End apartment. <laughs> Quick fire. Justin, Justin Fashion. A true story, is this? Yes. A true story. And Justin was thrown with me from Canada. Eric said, I'm in nothing but trouble. I said, what, what's the matter? Eric, I need your help. So what, what, just get, what is it? What is it? I uh, was in a gay club in Canada. Yeah. And look, without me knowing, they was having photographs of me kissing and dancing with Freddie guys. Mercury. With guys. So I said, well, what? You know, so well, I've now had a call from the News of the World, I think it was. It might be the Sunday Mirror. They're running the story next Sunday of, you know, the, you know, it's now people have been saying for years... Jimmy Bullard may remember this, or not remember these, but, but there was always people in football who knew it was gay. None of them 100% know it, yeah. but we all kind of, you know, lots of them more than yeah. I said, well, it's just that they run the story, but this proves it. Here he is, a picture of me cuddling and dancing and kissing a boy. I said, OK, well, fine, leave it to me. What, what do you think? Don't worry. So I immediately found out a man called Kelvin McKenzie, who was then the editor of The Sun, because this was like a Tuesday when he got the phone call. Or late Bandy night. <laughs> I phoned up Tuesday morning. <laughs> and I, said, I told Kel what happened. I said, Kel, what we got to do, I want to do the story with him, of him coming out, and that'll kill off the other story because yeah. they're doing live side. So they say he's gay, done a dumb. So we did, um, he was going to run Thursday, Friday, Saturday because I had to fly him from Canada to London yeah. to do the meet up with the journalists. <laughs> Excuse me. So it was all set up. That would kill off the other story because they only could run on mm -hmm. Sunday. So I was like, I got a call from John Fashionel. Eric, he said, is it true? I said, yeah. He said, well, your brother phoned me crying. I've tried to help him out. I was going to say, thank you. John was yeah. going to thank you, Daniel. You. You've helped out of trouble. You've got to stop it. Well, we've got to stop it. If I stop it, it's going to be the other paper around it. Mm. And I had got him, and I'm going back quite a few years ago, which was a nice, you know, maybe not great today's money, but I got 50 grand too. And it's I got money, 50 yeah. grand, you know, it killed off the other schmucks. And it was, you know, the nice side of them. Um, what can mm. I do? I'm gay, I was born this way, thinking, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, perfect. I thought it was good thinking. Proper bit of agent in that. Proper, proper Jewish uh, uh, showbiz agent. So, but he said, no, you've got to stop it. He said, if you don't stop it, he said, can you imagine what's going to happen to me on Saturday when I play against whoever it was, after or whoever it was? I get all the wolf whistles and people say, your brother the puff, your brother the puff. I said, well, better if they say that because ain't your puff and your brother, so what? Yeah. So what, yeah, you know, if you don't stop it, you, you, he said, from this day, when I put the phone down, you are no longer my agent, and please never, ever speak to me again. Really? And I never have done it, ever, ever. Oh, really? So that's my John Fashion type story. Sorry, yeah. Sad, Leave though, that yeah. on the comment Sad. page. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On the Amazon. Yeah. Put, <laughs> yeah, put that in his Amazon ring. It's sad, though, isn't it? It's yeah. True. No. true. Um, question two, Ian. Question two, lighten up. Um, Neil, Rud <laughs> Neil Ruddock had one cap for England. Um, who was it against? I got no idea, Bob. Oh, I it? know chose him, uh, Terry Venables. Yeah, yeah. For and you know Terry Venables' agent was, don't you? Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> There's a question about. Oh, well, we'll give you, he, so he was capped against Nigeria. Um, so we'll give you this this next question about Venables. Can you name the title of this Terry Venables written book from the blurb? 
So this is, this is the blurb for his book. <laughs> East End ex-cop private detective James Hazel. I remember Hazel, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. long overdue for a taste of the high life. So when the opportunity comes along to take part in a rich man's dangerous game, he dives in headfirst, mixing with money bags, beavers, and the problem of his pretty young wife. What's the, what's the, what's the name of the book was? Yeah. Well, I did the deal. I got him the deal for Terry that. Terry Venables wrote that. Terry Venables wrote that. For Hazel, yeah. Does he write, right? he write one of the fiction. main characters again? Money bags, beavers. Money bags, beavers. <laughs> no, TV sounds story. like an instruction. <laughs> no, the very famous TV series uh, uh, Hazel he wrote. Oh. Now, I don't. I forget. I've run that. Yeah, what was the book called? Yeah, Hazel and the Menacing Jester. Oh. So you can get that on Terry Amazon Venables as well. Terry wrote, wrote that. Yeah, yeah. the books. football in Terry Venables. I think he wrote oh, it with so, someone yeah, else. One of his autobiographies. I don't want to know that. I want an autobiography. Was it? What? That one about Hazel and the money bags up, you know. Yeah, Terry like Ter- Ter- Venables, book? ex-cop, private detective. Yeah, no, Terry wrote, Terry wrote uh, the whole TV series. What, you talk, what is I going on here? I didn't realise he wrote a TV series. Is Terry Venables a policeman? He's written some books. No, Bubba, don't be a schmuck, listen. There's all the cash in. The, in the 70s. <laughs> I can't I can't hold hold being a monster schmuck. Oh, I'm a it. football manager. Terry Venables. Don't monster me off, Eric. I want you to monster Bubba and me off. TV series, which went out on Thames TV in those years called Hazel, about a private eye. And Terry wrote oh, it, wrote oh. 26 shows. Which Terry Venables? Wrote. Yes. This is bullshit. No, I can't believe that. No, I'm He's had like three music singles as well, hasn't he? Yeah, I, 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 we did, we did. Do what songs. do you want to make the life and me for? What, the last that? record he made was for the World Cup, whenever it was now, it was nearly four years ago, he, uh, which charted, which yeah. I, I, I was involved with. So we've got the deal together. Sure. But you bought a copy. You've made some serious <laughs> money, Eric, haven't you? No, no, no. no. You, you must be minted. Yeah. No, Such no. a liar. You don't drink, you ain't no... I don't drink. <laughs> 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 I don't spin it down oh, the pub. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, have you, is that all your questions? No, there's two more, two more questions. These these questions, I, like I mean... This, I like this. They're very strange. Um, so... Deck the Halls was a 2006 Christmas film starring Danny DeVito and Matthew Broderick. But what were they competitive about in the film? <laughs> What's that got to do with? Are you winding me up, Bob? No, the link is well. Your surname's Hall, and it's Deck the Halls. Oh, so he's done a, a question based on your surname. I want to see. So it's not about you. I don't know. Cr- oh, they were, who had the best Christmas lights? Yeah, that was quite a good film. That. Sad when arguments like that ruin Christmas. Mm. I think. Serious note. Um, and then I was trying to see what the biggest hall, like a hall in a building, is. And do you think there would be a hall big enough that there's clouds in it, like weather? Like a room so big that it could rain inside it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you reckon? Is there? Are you right? Yeah. You are right, aren't you? Yeah, well, yeah. But not in your head. No, not in my head, no. Oh, what? I'm surprised I passed the safety check to do this, really. So what are you talking about of halls? With so there's a building, the NASA Vehicle Assembly Building at Kennedy Space Center. I was going to say that. It's the biggest, like, <laughs> like one-story one like one like building. <laughs> and it's so big that there's... um. You get, that gets clouds. It gets really? clouds, isn't it? No, that's true, that's true. So you could be that's working. Yeah. working Why don't you say it then, Eric? <laughs> um, Eric, are you still banned from Tottenham? Did you get banned from going to Tottenham's stadium? I don't know. I'm not half, so I don't really care. Um, <laughs> but I, I, Alan did Sugar, you get banned? Alan, oh, yeah. Why? Banned by Alan Sugar. What did you do? Well, I got a relative to Terry Renner because Terry had bought the club with Alan Sugar and then there was a big court case where they... Elbow Terry, got him out of the club. And I'm Terry's agent. I know Terry's agent. I met Terry when I was 15 years old. Yeah. When he played for Chelsea. I was in the music business then, at Mills Music in Denmark Street, London, Timbal Alley. So I know him all, you know, grew up with him. Yeah. So of course I was, when he went to court, the old Bailey, where it was, I was with him every day in court. Because the minute it was the decision, you know, sorry Terry, the judge says goodbye, you got to leave Spurs. Then, um, I got I was arrived back in my office in those days, old fashioned now. I had a, a telex come through from Peter Barnes. A telex? Yeah, a telex. They're like a telex. They used to do it on the, like a fax message. Oh, right. Just saying, from Peter Barnes, who was then the club secretary at Tottenham. Eric, unfortunately, I have to tell you this. I've known you for a long time, but Mr. Sugar has told me to tell you your own wrong welcome at Spurs. No, no, not welcome at Spurs. You're banned from Spurs. Uh, the training ground, the dabba dabba dabba, dabba everything. Yeah. How would but the police that though? If you just turned up to a game, you'd be all right now, wouldn't you? Well, no, maybe yeah. now. I don't know what you mean yeah. now or then. No, well, he's been then. he owns the club. You yeah. know, you're allowed, uh, quite rightly so, but not anybody can just you know you go and buy a ticket for Spurs, but mm. they have the right, like a movie house, yeah, you don't, theatre, 
So, you know, say, sorry, sir, you can't come in. You want to do your um, mastermind quiz for Jimmy? Okay, so um, in last specialist week's episode, subject. um quizzed Jimmy on one of his specialist subjects of fishing. This week, we're going to do um, golf. Golf? Golf, um, yes. Golf. Yes. Um, great go- Golf, I think it's pronounced. Golf. I'm not sure. I don't know what golf. this is, but um, I've Googled it. Um, so I Googled golf, and these are the questions, Jimmy. Can't wait. Are this. you feeling confident? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> in, in what year was the first Volkswagen Golf produced? Ooh, I, I would say that would be, is it 60s? If you can get it within 50s. five years, I'll yeah. give you that. 50... Oh. Oh. 60... Oh. 69. Oh. Yes, well, it's within five years. 1974. Oh, yeah, 69 on the button. <laughs> with help from Rob yeah. pointing to the ceiling. Yeah, um, 69. <laughs> question number two. How many hole-in-ones did former North Korean dictator Kim Jong-il claim to get on his first 18-hole um, go at golf? Two. 11. That's a blank. First time he picked, picked <laughs> up a reckon? club. <laughs> Fuck it now. That's just total oh, God, man, The Koreans are a bit cheeky with that, aren't they? Nah, I don't believe that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't think <laughs> I don't anyone Unless <laughs> every hole was like 10 yards. Could be. That's just bullshit. <laughs> it's like, it's not what? impossible, is it? Well, it is basically, it but is impossible, it can be done. I tell you what, I'm no, paid to see done. you. I was allowed to see Eric Hall have a round of golf with Jimmy Bullard and Kim John Hill. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, that's I'd a television program. I'd, I'd love to take Eric Golf. I'd love to take Eric. Because you think you're pretty handy at golf, Kim John Hill. No, I don't think. 11. I know. Oh, think. You What's your handicap? Plus two. Plus two. That's good. Mm. I'm sure. Do you know the famous Sammy Davis Junior story, don't you? No, yeah, I think I'm going to find out. <laughs> he, he just sort of cracked it as a, as a you know, major star. And he thought, all my mates, Dean Martin, Sinatra, De Crosby, all playing golf. And so he went to join a golf club in, in Los Angeles. And when he got there, they were a little bit, because they're black guy, and they were a bit terrible. So they didn't, you know, want to happy in Jordan anyway. So the guy said to him, one of the very posh, flesh guys, well, Mr. Davis, have you played golf before? Yeah, he thought, porky pie, yes. What's your handicap then? He said, well, I'm Jewish, black, and got one eye. <laughs> I mean, that is a, bad, that's a true story. <laughs> he went, oh, uh, Jewish, black, and got one eye. Did he only have one eye? He only had one eye, yeah. Did oh. he? Yeah. I didn't know about that. No. Guy's always winking. That's what you call a handicap. <laughs> <laughs> right, question number three. <laughs> question number three. Um, what is it called? This is very rare. What's it called if you're four strokes under par? If he's wanking on the physio's chair. Sex <laughs> four stroke. stroke. Well, it all it's depends what par it is. If so, it's a par five, that'd be be a hole in one. Yeah, so so it's like how it's um a birdie of your one under par. You can, you can only have um four strokes under par. You can only have that on a par five. Yeah, no, and it's only been verified four times. It's only happened four times. Hole in one, that's called. Yeah, but it's like. So it's like if you get a bird, Are you going to say eagle? it's a peregrine or something? Let him finish, <laughs> Bob Love. It's called so a peregrine. So do the question again. Do the question again. Let him finish. It's, it's very rude. It's Bob very Bob. rude to interrupt. Let him finish. No, it's my show, What's it called? <laughs> look, Bubbleus, just calm down, Bubbleus, all right? Listen, Eric, a, look, listen, listen, you're a guest. I've been very nice to you, but don't fuck me off. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Because when he goes, Eric. Let the man finish, Bob When he goes, Eric, he goes. When I lose it, I'm very nice, but don't take my kindness for a weakness. Go, Bubba. Bubba has <laughs> handicap as can. This is a monster, monster show. No, we don't no, want to upset. We don't have any really schmucks on here, right? We're monster, all monster good shot. friends as, it, as we are. Now, just sorry if I interrupted. No, okay. I will well, apologise, Jimmy. Yeah, just, just be quiet. So, Jimmy, you told what's it called if you're four strokes under par? Well, I, I think it's a hole in one. Um, no, it's actually called a condor. So that's a bird. That's a true, yeah. Okay, great. I knew that. Anyway. I didn't know that. Did you know, I know that? that? Birdie, eagle and condor, isn't it? Oh. I know that, I know that. Albatross. Birdie, eagle, albatross condor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was saying Sorry. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Big dogs in the ass. Um, <laughs> back on, on February the 6th, 1971, <clears throat> Apollo 14 member Alan Shepard hit a ball with a six iron on the moon and it's only one of two sports to have been played on the moon. What's the other sport? Played on the moon. Would. Um, of all places. Played on the moon. Mm. I reckon it's... Um, Give you a clue. Mm, go if on. you need a clue. Go on. Begins with J. Jumping something. 
Jumping? What kind of Jumping. sport's that, mate? Imagine how long they'd be basketball for. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's Michael Jordan on the moon. <laughs> is it jousting? Jim? Jousting. Jousting. Changing room jousting. Oh, like Back in the day, bit of jousting Imagine on the moon. on the moon. <laughs> Fall off the end of it. <laughs> it's javelin. Um, javelin. Javelin. Is it still javelin. going? Yeah. <laughs> Make it so land, just, oh, yeah. <laughs> It's coming. Oh, um, Buzz Aldrin running down <laughs> the flag. Um, uh, javelin, was it Javelin? Javelin, who, yeah. Who does that? Like, you're packing to go to the moon. Yes. Yeah. I've got javelin. my golf club and me, me Javelin, just in case. Is that true, That's is it? Been a schmuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Must have been a schmuck, yeah. yeah. And this is the last question. This is, quite a, this is quite a sensible one. Who is currently the highest ranked English golfer? Highest ranked English golfer is... <laughs> Um, I would say <laughs> Luke Donald, oh. Ian Poulter, uh, or Lee Westwood. Uh, none of them. <laughs> none of them. Oh. I'll give you a clue. If you answer it quickly, you'll be just in t- Rose. Rose. Justin Rose. Justin Rose. There you go. She's, she's got well done, Jimmy. Well, done. well played. Um, no, that's the end for this week but we're having a break because um, I'm going to Australia to do the jungle thing so we're going to be back in the middle of December and we're going to do a Christmas special which we're not allowed to mention yet but we're going to do a very special it's Christmas. all going off paper yeah. isn't it it's all going to go off it's the Christmas go. special are you um, going in the jungle then no I'm just we, host- we did last year I'm the host in the after show yeah like you does very good I've watched you it's sensational oh, oh thank you very much Harry. sensational oh thanks I should get you in to give me a rise um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, double yeah, it up um, you were good Cool, well, thank you very much, and we'll see you all back again. You're going to miss me, though. Of course, right I miss you, me? Robbie Boy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, go- I'm off to the forest. Forest? What's 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 camping? Just on a camping trip. Oh, That's yeah. where you go camping. Nice. Oh, that'd forest. be nice, wouldn't it? So he's going to jungle, you're going to forest. Where are yeah. you going? And I'm going to picnic. Going to picnic. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then, we'll see you back in December. Bye. 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 Bye.